Well, this is Jeff with FunnelFitters.com with the tech tip of the day. If you are removing your crankca crankshaft from your crankcase, it's a good thing to inspect your lower crankcase bearings and your um, lower rod bearings just to make sure everything is good. There's no rough, mar rough marks, chatter marks on your bearings, stuff like that. You also want to make sure that you replace both crankshaft and seals when you have your crankshaft out and check your crankshaft for trueness by putting in some V blocks and putting a dial indicator on both ends to make sure that is within, it is within spec. Spec for that is two thousandths run out total. So you want to make sure that everything is good, clean, looks good and when you're reassembling your crankcase, your crankshaft into your crankcase, you want to make sure that you have your alignment dowels into your position on your uh, crankshaft bearings and that you make sure and clean your crankshaft ends before you put your crankshaft seals on. You want to make sure that you put some grease on the lips of the seals and make sure that the springs are facing inwards as you put them on. Make sure you apply a light coat of uh, crankca crankcase sealant all the way around the crankcase and torque to specified specs. Thanks, this is Jeff with the Tech Tip of the Day. Reach us at 866-531-0123. Thank you.